The University of Michigan now preparing for a legal battle against the Big Ten after their head coach Jim Harbaugh was sidelined as the Wolverines took on Penn State at Beaver Stadium. All of this amid allegations of a sign stealing scheme. Offensive coordinator Sharon Moore stepping in as his replacement and leading the team to a victory over the Nittany Lions. It's been a crazy 24 hours, but uh, at the same time, our team is built for this. Our staff is built for this, and we're, we're all built for it. Harbaugh, the head coach of the undefeated number three ranked college football team in the country, banned from his team's final three games after allegations of a sign stealing scheme. Since Michigan has like one of the highest chances to win the national championship this year, they're just doing everything to stop Michigan. The Big Ten finding the University of Michigan in violation of its sportsmanship policy for conducting an impermissible in person scouting operation over multiple years, resulting in an unfair competitive advantage that compromised the integrity of competition. For the Big Ten to step in and remove Harbaugh from the sideline for the three games for the remainder of the regular season shows just the depth of what the conference feels that Michigan did in this science scheme. ESPN sources say Michigan analyst Connor Stallions bought tickets to more than 30 games with teams on Michigan's schedule and paid people to attend the games and record coaching signals. Stallions has resigned while Harbaugh has denied any knowledge of the operation. Michigan Athletic Director Ward Manuel issuing a statement before Saturday's game saying the Big Ten and its commissioner acted unethically on Friday when they banned Harbaugh, calling it an assault on the rights of everyone to be judged by a fair and complete investigation. A hearing in the school's lawsuit challenging the Big Ten's punishment of University of Michigan and Harbaugh is scheduled for November 17th. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.